yo what is good everybody welcome back to some more how would you know you episode 39 and i'm i'm like laughing because <laughs> like y'all know how i got super excited about um brother takamura finally you know using that voice being a little vocal well after rewatching that episode i realized he didn't say nothing he was just mad that okita pretty much walked evil into a trap like he didn't want to actually he didn't he wasn't cheering for Epo like saying, yeah, you know, land the hit or nothing. Like, but listen, at least he, you know, used the voice. It's fine. It's fine. But regardless, Epo got the dub against Okita, whether it was luck or not. Like I said, you know, Okita did take a lot of damage and his knee just happened to give out at the wrong time. You feel me? So Epo got the dub. And brother Dante, he was feeling some type of way. Now I know he was you know obviously he was expecting okita to get that win but he saw how freaking tenacious that boy ipo was to get to that title match you feel me and the fact that he said first of all like i said i could tell how date was in that match what them punches he was throwing the way he was going at old dude like you know it was it was more behind them punches than just oh i'm just defending my title or whatever you know that's all that was like you could tell and uh, he made it known. I got unfinished business before I take on the world. You feel me? Over there staring down, brother Epo. Epo was, he just got a little shook a little bit. Of talk more saying, no, you don't look at that boy. And of course, Epo had that fist ball. Out. That boy ready. So, hey, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, the outcome of all of that. But uh, I'm ready to get into this episode. Let's just go hop on into it. Where? Oh, okay, match. Crocodile phone. Oh, we're in Thailand? Oh, Miata! Is he getting a dub? Don't show me me. A uh, draw! Oh, so he, it's rigged. Oh, you know, y'all just didn't want to see y'all boy lose. So Miata took the dub, but y'all, oh, y'all against my boy. Now y'all throwing trash at my. Oh, wow. So this is, I mean, this is the environment he's in, I guess. Hold on, he keeping tabs on my boy though. Ugh. Yeah, that's. But I mean, you tied because they against you, bro. They didn't want to see the, you know, the, the the home team, you know, lose. Okay, okay. So we gonna focus on Miata a lot in this episode, I would assume, or they just gave us a glimpse. Oh yeah, we get Miata focus in that classic tracksuit. Two months. Oh, five seven. So was he shorter than five seven? Wait. I don't. I don't know how tall Miata is. Bro, you know when he was smiling the most? When he was around my boy Ipo. Jimmy Sispa. 10, 10, 10, huh? Oh, so he used to do Muay Thai. Oh, wow. So he was that guy. Oh, he nominated. Oh. What? So they nominate him so he can freaking lose? They trying to get my... They trying to punish my boy in the ring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Office. Yes, yeah, sir. Bro, you got something to say. Use your damn voice. You over here whispering. Like, shit, we can all step in this ring. Facts. Okay. Ran away. Wait, 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 wait. They, they pulled him out of the fight? His dad took him out of the fight because he knew Miata was gonna lose, and he, like he said, Miata really needs to win right now. Wow! And so they talking shit about Miata because they think he ran away. Or is he talking about? Okay, never mind. Wait, was he talking about Jimmy or was he talking about Ipo? I, I got confused a little bit. Mm-hmm. Hey. Have your son back, Pops. I mean, I get why you're saying that, because it's like a sheer loss, but... 
Okay, then teach me something that will work then. Okay, so but what did he notice then? Oh, you ain't got no weight behind them fists. スパッと切られた傷口ほど回復は早い。いつまでも体の死に残るような I'm with you, Miata. Listen, he's like, bro, I came here for a reason. Whether I was nominated to get my ass whooped or not, I came here to fight the strong and get better. You feel me? He's looking out for his son. That's 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 that conflict of interest, though. You going from when you coaching your own child, it's like you looking out for him, but it's like as a trainer, like tell me as a trainer, not as my dad. Damn, he somebody up. Right, this man conquered Muay Thai. He said, I'm going to come over to boxing. Okay. Okay, hey, he said, I'm going to tag with them points. Oh, yeah, but what'll happen if you start putting it on? Uh, oh, if it comes down, he has to win by KO. He can't win by points. He has to have a decisive victory. Yeah. That's the only way you're going to get a dub here. What is that? Oh. They still kicking them down posts. He's <laughs> like, damn it, man. If I really beat this dude, I'm going to crush everybody. <laughs> What's good, my boy? Wow, and he understands ja uh, Japanese? Oh, that's his little brother! Okay. <laughs> he said, I hate the guy. Nah, that's your best friend. Fuck you. <laughs> Facts. Hmm. He's like, but I don't, I want to be like somebody else. That's good. That inspired him right there. He's over here dreading. He's like, oh, I know my counter this. I know my counter that. No, have faith in the counter, my boy. Oh, he's like, man, I was only relying on that. This is what we need. Level up, Miata. That's what you're here for. Okay, okay. That counter surpassed all counters. Listen, all I'm going to say is... Ooh. Oh, so this is literally the pure miata focus episode. But last time I saw Miata... Well, not last time because they started out the episode with Miata in the ring. But the last, like, match match that I saw him in, he got hurt. He lost. I need my boy to catch a dub against this Jimmy dude. <laughs> Bro, he good, he good, he just... Oh, shit! Bro! Oh, my gosh, Miata. You gotta do better, my boy. What the hell? Drift off? You was about to drift off to the heavens. <laughs> like, dang. Listen, I love a good sauna session, but I know when to get out of that thing. <laughs> oh, my God, he looks terrible. Oh, he looks here, bro. If you step in the ring, you're going to fucking lose. Oh, my gosh. Bro, pops, if you don't talk to your son, like, I don't even want you to be a trainer right now. I need you to get through to him because, one, you, you used to be a boxer. You know this world. Talk to this boy. Okay, okay, hold on. Punching water droplets. I love it. I love it. I love it. Bro, he looks terrible. I can't even be excited about his training. He looks terrible. Mm. 
But he ain't here to have fun. But he's hurting on the inside, man. Struggling to catch up. Because he's not hungry. They don't know his hunger. Damn. He said, bro, you living worse than the people that actually live here. Wow. He's like, bro, you ain't even enjoying the sport no more. You just, you just doing it. Why? Why are you putting yourself through this? You know, it's freaking. You know, if Chana can see this, a child, you know it's real. And then, so you know, the pops is like, bro, what can I do? How can I help my son? Is you gonna do it though? Can you do it with some food in your belly though? Some water, <laughs> some chapstick. <laughs> like brother, <laughs> nourish your body. Damn, he done put down somebody else. Oh no, this is Miata. Mm, tap. Mm, tapping him. Even if he sees a chance, he's too tired to do anything. He ain't got no food in his belly. Barely drinking any water. This is not the Miata I wanted to see. Okay, oh, never mind. Hold on. He noticing something. Hold on, hold on. Matter okay, I know I said it ain't the Miata I wanted to see, but hold on. Is he leveling up in front of my eyes? Is Wait. He, he tickled him. Maybe this is his... Evolve counter punch, maybe. Mm. Okay, okay. Is it like one of those high risk counter punches where, where he's truly trying to counter at the point where his opponent is truly unguarded and he's aiming for like weak spots, nose, jaw, maybe I don't know. Right, right. Talk my boy up. You over there talking about Jimmy. Oh, whoa. You good, my boy? You over there getting frustrated with tying your laces. Come on, bro. Get this man a, a phone. Call, let Ipo get, get a hold to him. Got what? Listen, he ain't got no phone, but it don't matter because Evo's in his head anyway. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Whenever you in doubt, think of brother Evo. <laughs> Let his heart flow through you. <laughs> oh. All right, Jimmy Sisfar. Listen, you done conquer Muay Thai, but can you conquer, conquer boxing? Yeah! Miata! 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 Bitch! Yeah, he got a fan in me! Miata. Put the paws on him. Come on, come on, come on. Don't, 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 you, don't you do this to me. I knew it, bro. I fucking knew it, man. Yo, fire episode. I, listen. I didn't know I was getting a Miata focused episode, which I appreciate because one, I was honestly curious what he's been doing. Like, 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 was he just going? Cause the, I mean, when he said he was leaving, I was like, okay, he's going to leave and he's just going to come back. And I guess we was going to hear about what he's been doing, but no, we get to see it. He been over there pretty much either drawing or losing because they won't give him a win. If it comes down to points. Because, you know, he's an outsider, you know, they didn't, they don't get my boy to win. So he's working extra, have to work extra hard to try to get knockouts. And now he's going against this Jimmy dude who doesn't conquer Muay Thai. Like he, he's that guy in Muay Thai. But <laughs> boxing, he's like, eh, now I'm gonna make my mark here. Like already, cause what, didn't they say he got like, he didn't already got like 10 wins in boxing already. Like he, he <laughs> truly is just, he's built to fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, Miata, he, he, he's answering the challenge. 
you know and it's definitely a losing battle you know given who this jimmy dude is but miata's like nah i if if he didn't if he went into this match with just his you know go, with his the idea that my counter is all i need he probably would have lost his chances would be a lot lower but because he realized like okay i need to level up that's what i'm here for is to get better like just thinking like oh my counter is all i need and I'm, no i need to improve on that you feel me so i feel like his chance of winning went up but it still can't come down to a decision he has to leave that dude slumped on the floor like toot it up you feel me or the crowd gonna just make him draw like that's that's the only way he's that's the only his that's his only option is to get a knockout and so as much as you know i didn't really like how he was his prep going into this match like they made some 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 uh they were saying some stuff like um like five seven and all of this stuff like, i don't know how tall miata is but I'm, maybe he's taller than 5'7", I guess. So it was even harder for him to kind of cut weight, maybe, I guess. That's why he was going so hard with the, the weight cutting and him not eating. and I, I don't know. But regardless, it's match time. You know, he done been inspired. He was a nervous wreck, but he done been inspired by Brother Epo. He's like, hold on. I'm over here nervous. Like, the odds are against me. Everybody think I'm just going to lose. Like, 30 to 1. You feel me? But he's like, hold on. Epo probably in these situations all the time. They always think he gonna lose and he pull out that dub. You feel me? So, hey, channel brother Epo. You feel me? So, I'm, I'm looking forward to this match. Hope you guys are as well. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.